Hello again YouTube, this is the second part of my commentary battle and it's about to start any second now. There we go. So we're right back into the fighting now. Uh, this is the most interesting part of the whole commentary video. The first part was basically just to show you the composition of the forces and uh, the sneakiness of my long rifleman. Anyway, this is the second part now. So uh, uh, where we left off from before, I was uh, just annihilated one of the uh, Austrian cavalry units and uh, Spain under Bismarck is attacking the Poles front now using his howitzers in the back he's creating distra he's uh, causing the Poles to to, look, to uh, be distracted by his forces here so he's gone right the way around the back with his cavalry and is charging to the rear of the Polish lines now the Poles see him at the last second and form squares but that causes gaps in the front line which he exploits gets through the gaps and attacks the cannons instead instead of wasting his men attacking squares it shows he is a very good player anyway uh, in the meantime his line uh, his cazadors and his line infantry were attacking the enemy so at this point he asked for my help to help him deal with these long riflemen uh, not long riflemen just riflemen long riflemen are my riflemen so I uh, came over and attacked uh, attacked the Poles riflemen uh, the Austrian uh, had some cavalry to uh, support the Poles right and so he attacked and destroyed, he would destroy this cavalry unit but it doesn't matter because my other three are, are free to go and m mess around his units. Now the Pole had deployed stakes to uh, protect his riflemen but he deployed them the wrong way round and they were facing away from my men so that means when I charged into him I didn't suffer any casualties due to the stakes. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, in the meantime, my main army has moved up to where my long riflemen were, where they deployed stakes before, and I've, I've unlimbered my cannons, uh, howitzers, to uh, get the Austrian to come down and attack me, which is how I like to play. I never really like trying to take a hill because it means I've got to waste a great deal of my men. Uh, anyway, so uh, while uh, th that was all happening, the Spanish have lost their general. Uh, but that doesn't matter because there's a lot of the Spanish units left. When the Poles lose their general, it will be much more devastating to their morale. There you go, there's a message here, and the Poles have lost their general. And there you go, a lot of his men are starting to right now. See, my, because the Poles had brought no cavalry, my cavalry were free to just, you know, run, run around taking out his skirmishers. Anyway, here comes Austria in a bit of a not very orderly fashion. is coming at me and headlong at my line, which I've got prepared to attack me and try and silence my artillery guns. The reason I've got my riflemen back is just to stop the enemy cavalry from attacking my howitzers. You can see them now coming back into this side of the map. I saw them from a mile away and so I attacked them with my howitzers. And I formed my right side into a square because I assumed this was their target, which, which it was. So they charged all their cavalry, who are now exhausted as they've been running around the map all the time, and attacked me uh, attacked my um, square. Uh, in the meantime uh, my whole line is now firing at the Austrians who are, who are coming at me, at me in a bit of an unorderly fashion at the moment. Their line is not um, you know cohesive and there are massive gaps in his, in his forces. In fact some of them aren't even stopping to fire at me. They're still just coming headlong at me and uh, this un particular unit we're looking at is actually going to engage me in melee, which isn't a smart idea, as Austrian units have poor stats compared to other line infantry units. Anyway, now now I routed his cavalry, there's no threat to my uh, artillery guns anymore, so I send my skirmishers off to the right flank to start encircling the Austrian units. There you go. I'm trying to keep my men in a line, you see, just to, s just to ensure that my line isn't breached and... Uh, they don't get behind me, which is my main concern. So on the on the far left, I've managed to rout one of his uh, line infantry units already, and so I've swung a guards unit round to begin to begin uh, the encirclement process. Uh, my cavalry uh, are now free to go back and attack the remaining the my remaining cavalry. I should say, as I've taken quite heavy losses, are free to go back and and help against the Polish riflemen. So I've also deployed light infantry skirmishers in front of some of my. Uh, line infantry units to give them additional firepower. I've got them kneeling down so they go, don't get shot by my own men. There you go, you see, he's not he's not really, um, you know, focusing uh, too much here and he's attacked, just gone straight and attacked me in melee again without firing at me. Uh, on the right, my men are now swinging round in the big arc 
to encircle the Austrians, who have brought up their free guards units to attack me as well. Uh, and they're not going to stop to fire again, they're just going to go straight into me in melee, and all three units are going to go and try and crash through my centre. Now, it might have been a good tactic, I suppose. It'd be like the Boarhead's tactic to break a Saxon shield wall. But seeing as he has hardly any units left, it's not going to make too much of a dent in my line. Uh, anyway, so base as his left is all uh, his left flank is all routed, I'm swinging all my guards and line infantry units round, round the back of the Austrian units. You can see some of them are now starting to route, seeing their impending doom. <laughs> and uh, on the right, my riflemen have got behind them, and they're, they're not going to engage him in melee. Anyway, here comes a bayonet charge into the back of the three guards units. So this is basically it now. Now nah, look at that, blimey, they've got a chance. Even if they are free guards units, they can't stand up against all that lot. There's the remaining unit on the right routing, and that leaves, that means this. these are the three remaining Austrian units in the middle now, and they, like I thought, they wouldn't last too long against all that lot. So the Austrian has given up and is routed, and at exactly the same time the Pole gave up and routed. So that was a victory for me and Bismarck AU. That was a good game to me, uh, not me, uh, to Bismarck I should say, and uh, the other two of my opposition players, but as I don't know their names I'm just going to call them the opposition players. Uh, yeah, so basically that's the, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I, I do apologise for having to keep making videos in two parts all the time. I will try and find a, a cure for why my Windows Movie Maker does this. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.